Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you seven different ways of producing sound waves or sound wave like effects like the ones you see right here in Illustrator. Now I know a lot of these effects kind of look quite similar to one another and they are but in order to make any one of these little effects you have to know exactly how to do it. And there's a lot of little tricks and tips that I'm going to show you to make each one of these effects. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna click right here on the land segment tool and switch to the rectangular grid tool. We'll make one click and we want a default size of 300 by 300 pixels and then 20 horizontal and 20 vertical dividers. Press OK and we produce this shape right here. Now we're gonna press M. We're gonna to switch to our rectangle shape and we're gonna switch this so we have a black fill. Now we're gonna draw little rectangles in here. It doesn't matter really where, but I'm gonna draw in this pattern. You can follow the two. So I'll make two and then four. And you can just follow this pattern that I'm making right here. Now having done this pattern, we're going to select our pattern, we're just going to copy it in case we need to use it again, and we're going to press V and we're select all of our objects right here except for our grid, and we're going to go center align, vertical center align, like that. And that is how we produce our first type of sound wave. Now to switch it up a bit, what we can do is we can click on this box right here, extend it out to about there, then select all of these grids right here, and we can horizontally distribute center to make a different effect like that. So now we've gone from this effect to this effect right here. Cool. Now, in order to make these effects, we have to do something completely different. What we're going to do is we're going to select our grid and all of our boxes. We're going to go to Pathfinder, and we're going to go to Divide. And after we divide it, we're going to press trim. And now this has made our little rectangles into a whole bunch of small little boxes like this. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to right click, we're going to ungroup this entire object. And now we're going to group every single line by selecting the line and pressing control G or command G if you're in Mac. Good. Now having done that, we're going to do the same thing as we did before, select all of our objects right here and we're going to vertically align center. So we have the same, same shape as before. But now, in order to make <coughs> this shape right here, we're going to press, I'm going to actually copy this right here so you can see it, we're going to press and hold shift and X. And now we have that boxy pattern that we have right over there. We can make this a bit thicker by going into three. And to spread it apart, all we have to do is select again this box right out here, drag it out holding shift, select all of our boxes, and then vertically distribute center. And we can make that a bit wider to there. Vertically distribute center. There we go, that looks a lot nicer. So now we've made this shape and this shape. To make this shape, this is kind of interesting, all we have to do is we select our boxes like this. We're going to copy this. And now we are going to reverse it so we have a dark center. But we're going to make sure that the stroke is white. Because otherwise it's quite difficult to spread these little boxes apart. And if you want the boxes to be farther apart, just make the stroke a bit thicker. And now you have a bunch of floating little boxes just like that. So that's one of the little tricks that you have to do in order to make this effect, if you want to make it quickly. Now I'm going to show you how to make this sound wave right here. This one's pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to click right here on the rectangular grid tool and switch it back to the line segment tool. Click and hold shift like that. We're going to give it a black color so we can actually see it in this case. It's okay. And a stroke of, yeah, three is okay. Then we're going to go to effect 
Udo Distort and Transform, and Zigzag. Now here, we're going to choose ridges of segment that is an odd number. The reason we use an odd number is because it's going to make both of these points appear at the same height. So in this case, let's do about 13. We'll go Preview. So now we have 13 points. These two are at the same height. And let's make this a bit bigger. About so. That's a good starting point. Now we press OK. Having done this, we go to Object and Expand Appearance. Now what we can do is we can select by pressing A this anchor point, holding Shift and pressing this anchor point, and then clicking and dragging it down about that point. All we got to do now is while we hold press while we press A is adjust every single one of these points individually. Up and down. Now having done that, it kind of looks like a seismogram or a heart EKG type effect. We can just select that and we can squish it together and it gives kind of like a zigzaggy type sound wave that we see. Now to make this final type of sound wave, this is also, we use the line segment tool. Let's zoom in right here. Draw a line, a stroke of about three. And here we're going to use the width tool and the width tool you'll find just above the puppet warp tool or below the scale tool. Again, if you don't see it here, you can click and hold and or select it by shift W. And then if we zoom in, you'll see this little white line and you click and hold, we can expand our line. And what we're going to do is we're going to expand it like this. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking and holding and then squeezing the line to make this type of sound wave. And once that pattern is finished, again, you can select it. And by pressing A and clicking on this anchor point and holding Shift, we can make it shorter and squish it down to an effect like that. And there you go. That's seven different ways of producing sound waves or sound wave-like effects in Illustrator. I hope you learned something from that. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Check out our other videos. Subscribe, like, comment, and of course, if you have any video suggestions, write them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, as always, have a great day.